Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of the Rag to Riches series. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to discuss something real quick. Because during the live stream that we had, this was a few days ago for you guys. It was yesterday for me. We ended up finding a vertex in the BTG. And not something I expected. So instead of talking about it, why don't I show you how it happened? The other one's not good. I think as long as I'm focusing this direction, we'll be fine with the night vision on. Gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go. Ooh, Ooh. nope. Screw the loop. We're going. We're gonna... It's time to go. <laughs> I tell you, it's like it's like the stars align. It's like Tarkov knew what I needed, and it brought that scab to my location with the vertex. And boom, we had everything we needed for the two tasks that were kind of being annoying. Right there for us, for the taking. So very cool. Well, that means today then, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go turn those in because we have some other things to work on then. So we're going to come down to Len Lease Part 2. Turn this in. This gives us a few very nice items too. Very nice. Complete that one. That's going to give us the peacekeeping mission, which we have to go eliminate scabs while wearing the... the UN uniform, which should be very easy. Streets, shoreline, interchange, woods, and customs. That's not bad. That's really not that bad. Let's take a look as well. Oh, as samples as well. Here it is. Let's turn in the last item. I was debating between this one and Colleagues Part 3, but they both lead you to the same exact uh, quest that you need to complete for Kappa. And... The other one gives you another quest as well for Colleagues Part 3, but it's one that's not needed. So we're going to move over to this one here. So we're going to do samples. We get a lot of nice stuff out of this. Very cool. Very cool. And just want to double check. 23 is available. We should probably do, do, do 23 today before we actually move forward. Let's see. House Arrest Part 2 is available. Oh, okay. We need to locate improvised jail warden apartments. Okay. I think I know where that's at, but we'll have to go take a look. I think for today, we're going to go and do the peacekeeping mission. That is something I want to do. Now, we need to get our sniper skill up at some point because this is just becoming a nuisance. And, well, I hate nuisances, so maybe we should try to get the sniper skill going at some point. Because we need more sniper skill. And we need to do a lot more of, uh, well... You know, Dark House Shooter, which requires more of that anyway. So, I think for today at least, we're going to work on the Peacekeeping mission, and then tomorrow, or the day after, we're going to work on Dark House Shooter Part 4, and a lot more. So, that is going to be the plan for that. We have a lot of goodies. A lot of goodies that came with that quest. Now, we already have an M4, luckily. I don't think I'm going to be bringing in my 60 round mags. Just, you know, the off chance that we're going to die because we're using really crappy armor. We're back to that stage again, which is fun, but I definitely don't want to lose it. So we're going to pop these guys on there and these mags are going bye bye and we're just going to have to buy some other mags. We'll go over to you, Peacekeeper. I'm going to buy, oh, we'll buy like four of these. So for four, yeah, let's buy four. Boom, 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 boom. And then we can load it up with tracer rounds as well just as just because we have a ton of those i still am buying ammo but for now we'll just take those so we need to get 12 kills on all those maps so that's very very easy it's not that bad at all okay if i can see if i can match it you know granted like streets we can match some some tasks with that like there's some other places we can go in there uh i wanted to look at that key too um uh, the the key for the room for lexo 
Maybe we'll look at doing that in a little bit. All right, let's actually look at Gunsmith Part 23. We're going to spend a little bit of money today. So let's go to presets. Gun 23. There we go. Oh, this is the uh, <laughs> kind of funny, actually. I used the mutant deer in the uh, live stream. Yeah, probably should save that. That's going to cost us a little bit of money. 140k for the gun. Actually, is it cheaper? No, I can't even buy it anywhere else. So yes, I have to buy it from him. Okay, that's fine. Spend the money. Select it, select it, assembled. Oh. Whatever. Buy it. There's only a single one. I think this actually will give us access to that, won't it? Am I missing anything on this? Oh, I am missing something on this. What am I missing? Let's do another preset. Gun 23. Oh, this is awkward. I'm apparently missing something. Do I need to use this one? Does that make a difference? Does this fold? I don't think it folds. Oh, I may have made a mistake. Let me take a look real quick. Fixed it. I got it. I fixed it. We're good. <laughs> it's all set and ready to go. All right, we can go here, turn this in. And now we can get the longer barrel tool, which is really nice. Very cool. We hit 43 off that. Very cool. A lot of nice stuff from that run. Okay, or not run, but build, I should say. Go you, receive, grab the items, and we can move forward. All right, we're a little low on money, but we do have stuff in the junk box we can sell at some point if we really need to. But for now, we're going to head out then and try to get these kills done. I think for right now to start off, there's not a ton for us to do. I mean, granted, we need to kill some more players. Actually, this wouldn't be the worst one to work on now I think about it. Why don't... Actually, there's not... It's not on Lighthouse. What am I saying? Let's go to Interchange first. Yeah, let's go to Interchange first. Have fun with that one, and then we can go from there. So let's head out, and let's do this. Are you ready? All right, let's do this. 12 kills on scavs is all we need. And then we can pretty much do whatever at that point. Okay, you know, go for some, some loot. Or whatever else we need to do. Let me sure on full auto. Yes. All right. Luckily, though, we're doing all these gun smart, uh, gun parts, or gunsmith parts, I should say. They, uh, they're unlocking a lot of different items that make, make it easier to make some builds. So, happy about doing that. So then I can actually have, like, quote unquote meta M4 builds that are like available to me and uh yeah makes my life a little bit easier when it comes to try to kill things I think I need to go straight through the middle and just kind of like traverse around see if we can find all the scabs I feel like there's going to be some in the middle yeah there should be some in the middle go to go of course it'll probably take him a minute anyway to spawn in so we will try to do a bit of looting while we're waiting Oh, they already hear them. They're mine alive. They're already here. Oh, is that up? It's probably up top. Salada. Did you go back out? Stop moving. Where are you? What? There he is. <laughs> it's like, are you going that way? He's going the other way. Go up top. I think I heard one that was like over to my right. I found killer. <laughs> I found killer. That was so awkward. Yep. Well, that was awkward as heck. BT. 
I feel like if that other scab wasn't there, would have been would we would have been fine. I think. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it's going to be interesting because <laughs> I think they also increased the the spawn rate up to like thirty five percent now for scab bosses. And I forgot that he spawns on the second floor now. Awkward, awkward, awkward. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Here we go. Let's get the rest of the kills and not die by kill this time. Doo -doo. Uh, we brought pretty much the same kit, except I kind of changed the M4 up a little bit. Yeah. Get a little bit more pizzazz. And as I gave it more pizzazz, uh, we lost a little bit of extra money because, you know, we were already broke as it was. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. I'm having fun building these M4s. Let's make it work, okay? And we'll be fine. Use some scabs already. I must have been hearing some upstairs too. Unless the sound just that off. Up in that way. Keep on roaming. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to Goshen. So I'm gonna go through the middle here and take a right. I'm just trying to get through, the, I mean, I wanna get loot, but at the same time, I wanna also just kinda push through this task as fast as I can. Considering it's only 12 kills. Come back out. Finish up these kills, then we can move on to the next place to try to get them all done. Oh, wait, that's not what I thought it was. It looked like a waffle for a minute. I was like, oh, cool. Get loaded up. All right, let's keep moving. Got players over by... It sounds like by Ollie. The ricochet shots going off. Ooh, somebody in there. I want to sell what? Horrible here. No heads peeking. It is a possibility that they're all at top. So let's let's keep moving. There's no scabs back here at Goshen. Very strange, very strange. A couple options we could do, we could go over to Idea, or we could also take Seeker Staircase up. Either way is an option. Clear. Why don't we take Hidden Staircase up? And then we'll head over towards the middle and try to kill whatever they're killing and then keep moving through the map. Moving on up, basically. Hopefully we kill these kills. I think, as far as I read, killers should only be spawning on the second floor, as far as I can tell. So, this has to be cautious of him, obviously, and uh, just watch out for him. I think Santar is like the only boss now that doesn't spawn in a specific place. Which is very interesting. I can see why it would take a little bit to get him. And that way... I think what we'll do as we did before, kind of go through, not before this one, but go through the side doors over here. Yeah, I guess something. The bad thing about this armor though, it just you stick out like a sore thumb. That's so over at idea. Oh, there was two of them. Crap! 
I only saw the one, and the other one was just sitting there on the right, or the left, well, tending to the left of me. Uh, let's see him. That sucks, man. I put the damage on him and everything. I just did not see him. All right, let's give it another try. All right, I cannot allow that streak to, to happen again of deaths. We are going to survive this. So let's get right in. I just gotta, I gotta focus on the kills, get these things done. I don't know what it is with interchange lately, but I've just not been performing very well. So I'm going to uh, get the last few kills, kills we need and get the heck out. I think we only need five. I think it's five. So we'll get those done and then get the heck out of here. Move on to the next one. I need to I need to grab some money though. So we're gonna, gonna kind of skirt around the back side of the mall and then go into Goshen and check there and then go towards the back side on the other side. Try to finish this up where we can. Here we go. He's got shots at the other side. What we got. Okay, whatever we think is valuable or semi-valuable. Yeah, it'll work. What else we got? A hand drill, which I don't think I'm gonna grab. <laughs> All right, check this next. I mean, we don't really need to be bringing in the loot that we're, or the weapons we're bringing in. I could just bring in like a standard, regular M4, use it to kill the scavs, and then focus on killing, you know, players with like the DVL or anything or something like that. I thought about that. We may do that for the other maps, but we'll see. It would be it would be kind of smart to do that, and then we only have to worry about like a single mag. With, Replace the ammo when we have to. Well, we'll give that a try. What was that spin around lay down? Whoa. Waiting in the, the shadows, I see, Scab. Oh, there he is. Okay, I did kill him. All right. So let's hang up for a minute, get these loaded up. Do, do, do. Load them up. Good. See if there's anything on the scabs that maybe we want. That's X400. Five thousand rubles. Okay. SVD or SV, SVD SVT. He's probably hunt yeah, level 52, he's hunting killer. Good enough. We got a killer hunter. Well, we only need what, two kills? Uh, where's that? Not shoeborn. Shoeborn. Well, let's head towards the back then. See if the, the scabs spawn in the back. And if not, we'll head over to Ollie and check over there. Same thing as for, before, just try to loot up as much as we possibly can. <sighs> you know, it seems like it's like annoying that like I'm wasting the money on the gunsmith parts, but they do unlock a lot of nice things. Like I would not be able to build half these weapons right now without doing the gunsmith parts. So, in the end, I'm happy I did it. Gives us a lot of nice options to work with and cheaper options too. It's not going to cost us like, you know, 100,000 for a single part. Feeling nervous. Let's get that loaded up. That 35% though gives us a really nice chance to get some 
some boss skills though when we decide to go for them. Head up. I think the only one that didn't get a boost was Vigilla, but we've already gotten. He's all taken care of on our list. I hear him. Scabs, what the heck? Oh, let's bounce around with those ding barrels. Got that drink. Actually, the couple hits go for a good, good amount. We'll take it for now. I'm just listening out to my left, and then obviously right in front of us. Take the shotgun for now. Get the last scab just for the XP. There it is. Looking good. Hear that one. Huh? Yeah. What? Are you trolling me, son? It is. I need the other one. Oh, so you're on the other side, I can't see. Over here, creeper. Good enough. Let's go. I believe customs is going to be the next one on my list to go to. Customs and then streets of Tarkov, and then we'll leave woods for our woods and shoreline afterwards. We got a lot to go to. A lot of places to go to. Ay -ay -ay. Interesting run, though, going after these scavs. 
If I could have transferred a lot easier though on the second one, that would have been a good run, I believe. But I had a lot, a lot of nice money. I think I had a different backpack. No, I had a. I think I had the same, had the burkett, burkett as well. Doesn't matter. Interchange finished. We're moving on to the next one. All right, got to put up 12 kills over here on customs and see what we can make happen. Sure, I did fill these. I did. Good, good. And we on full auto. We are on full auto. Nice. Okay, go. I don't know why it doesn't just say auto. Cause like when you do this, it tells you single fire. This should just say auto. <laughs> but hey, whatever. It's small little details. I feel like. Let me see what the counter. No, I did not. All right. I'm just gonna go along here to the gas station first, and look at get a couple of kills over there, and then we'll just kind of waffle around the map and see what we can find. Watch out for players, obviously. Ooh. He is dope. Oh. He is not dead. What the? Are they doing that whole lay down thing again? Bruh. Eating shots. Loading. go next probably go down the hmm. may have been here myself switch into a different room then we go down the middle try to locate some scabs down the, by the construction area loading up loading up there we go watch out for anybody obviously we have the jump over actually a pretty a chance someone may take that so let's be a little cautious here along here I'm a, I almost want to like back, uh, like back pedal towards the uh, checkpoint again but we'll keep pushing forward I'm sure we'll run into some scabs in a minute. Shots over at dorms. Oh God. Shotgun scabs, go away. God, I hate you. Granted, that was really bad shooting on my part, but still. God, I hate shotgun scabs. It's the leg up. I got killed at the end there, but I don't know. I think he's still alive. The player's obviously dead. Actually, I gotta heal up before I do anything. Also, I was looking that way. There was no scab there before. That that bro totally spawned in. I was looking down even like the little like side path by the grass. No scab. healing I barely heard that guy jumping though like I heard him like the last second jump over the uh the side there I'm like uh oh <laughs> I think someone's coming our way but let's heal up now
<laughs> There's so many of them like ah, ah, ee, ah. <laughs> All good, all good. They're coming our way at least, which is nice. I totally forgot to drop all these headphones. I'm just realizing that now. We're just gonna do that. I just don't feel like uh, carrying around extra set of headphones. All right. What's that? There's two in the back, two up front. So we got four kills so far. Not horrible. Not horrible. Hello, thank you. Apparently, I have Adobe in the background running. One on the they just keep swimming, huh? Keep coming our way. Let's get loaded up here. Can't complain though. If you just want to come towards me, I'll, I'll take the, the easy kill on that one. Almost there. All right, let's go. Let's get me out of this death trap I put myself into. Got some scabs in the middle. I'm happy about this. Okay, okay. I'm gonna listen out if he's got a friend or not. I also need to go loot that other guy too. Let's get these scabs first and then we'll worry about looting. There's like two of them over here I saw. You little rat! That little rat was sitting in a corner. Rat of a scab, man. Just sitting there. He's like, don't worry, bro. I got you. I'm going to hide behind this little pillar here or behind this little, little crate and he'll, he'll never see me. And hopefully this guy's got some healing going on and over in his pockets because I need those. The faster I can get done with these quests, I gotta wear this ridiculous armor, the better. The legs. Especially when they keep like aiming at the same exact limb every time. Like, please, my arm. Got him four. What you got for armor? Cool. We do have another sail of while. Quite certain this guy went into the marked room. Let's do this. No, actually, I want both of those. Where did the suppressor go? Oh, right on. 
Get that. Move these up. Take this. We need the ammo anyway. We've been using a ton of it. But I don't need this many mags. Take that. And then we'll unload this one. Oh, that one wasn't even full. Should have left the other one. Huh. Get there. I'm coming for you, Scav. You didn't have anything for heavy bleeds, right? He did not. I should know what party's in. I mean, if they want to keep coming to me, this is nice. The other guy didn't look like he had anything good on him anyway, so we'll, we'll skip him. Where'd this scab go? I heard him. Oh, he's inside the blue container. Is finished. Oh! These shockers, <laughs> the most accurate people in the world. Oh, I got sick at twelve. I'm getting a little sick of that. That is now the third time in a row now. I've just been shot in the face. Yeah. I don't know what to say about it. I really don't. It's just it's a consistent thing happening over and over and over. Again, buckshot right in the face. I don't know what to say. I feel like I did everything I possibly could there, and then we just got rectified, man. Just Took us out. Uh, we're actually gonna sleep around the hotel. Uh, they need to check out one more of the task actually while we're here. Uh, which one is it? No, it's not that one. It's one to kill scavs. No, no, no. Where are you? I know you're in here. This is not the right building. Here it is. Yeah, any, any targets. Then I need to bring a yellow flare at some point. So I need to kill scavs around here anyway. Maybe double up on what we're trying to do. I think it's a decent idea. Let's see what we can find. Oh, that was me, okay. <laughs> I hit the bushes. <laughs> das bush. Anything else over here? I haven't been to the hotel in a while, but yeah. I figured nighttime. Try to get a little more re relaxed for now. This is the last kit, by the way. <laughs> Can't afford any other kits at the moment, so if this fails, yeah, we're in a little bit of a sticky pickle. Let's just say that. 
I prefer to not die, <laughs> which I'm going to do my best to not. Some shots ringing out. Let's see what we can make happen here. Got some sugar. Obviously keeping out if anyone comes this way. Can't wear any night vision, obviously, because of the way it's set. Got a lot of shots across the way, though. I was expecting to catch somebody out from here. I'm do. Shoot that out. Is there an actual window here? Nope, I hear something. Somebody's across the way. All right, let's get moving. We'll, we'll kind of, like I said, hang around the hotel area, see if any of the scouts decide to show up so we can shoot them, and then watch out for players too. Nothing there. Regular batteries. It's kind of meh. And it's going to get bright. We went in there around like four. Need the sniper kills too. So this is okay. I feel like the scabs do take a moment to spawn in, so. A lot of gagging I feel like is okay for the time being, and that is the boss. Somebody's shooting, but I cannot see them. Yeah, that's the boss shooting right now. Could head that way, actually. See if we can kind of traverse around and... I need to kill him anyway, plus his guards. I think five of them, I believe. And they would count as scabs, so... Give it a look. Go to the left here. I thought I heard somebody. Yep, I did. It's so dark over there. I gotta wait till the light kind of shows a bit more. See him. Too dark. I would take you out, but I can't see you. Yeah, it's too well, maybe. I feel like that is way brighter than what it should be. Push back a little bit more. Oh, you know what? I don't want to go in this angle. Just in case there is a guard that's sitting on one of the turrets there. That'd be really bad. There's obviously scabs in the back here. And potentially players, too. Mm -hmm. 
Probably not the smartest move to be going after the boss with the armor we got. Sometimes you gotta take a risk, right? Worried someone actually killed the boss, though. I'm not seeing any snipers on the roofs anymore. No sound from any scabs over there. That's yeah, giving me even more of a sign that the boss is dead. Get loaded up here. Yeah, we may not get all the kills this run, but at least we'll get something done. And try to get as many of as I possibly can. Getting food, which I guess is okay, in a sense. Just we can go search that dead scab too. Same scav. So maybe still a chance. I have to play it very smart though if I'm gonna attempt this. Can't tell if it's a scav or a player. Oh, scav. So worried about the guy on my right. down get a load up here and then we'll attempt to cross now
Really, Sniper Scav? <laughs> Yeah, I think. What am I stuck on? Oh. Hang out for just a second. I think I'm gonna throw a nade over there and then see if he'll move. Pretty sure I didn't kill him. I think the other guy killed him. This is where I need to have a uh, long grid scope. That had to be the play. And we got something to our left. I die from the from the mine. I think we just need to have to swing it here and let me get the other mag, the third mag loaded up a little bit more. meds Respectoyo. 
Ah, my eyes. That armor is completely toasted, but I can't kill scabs without it on. We'll give it our best attempt. I'm hearing. Where are the bosses at? Well, the boss may be dead, actually. I really don't want to kill the, um, the snipers up top because I want them to shoot any of the scaps coming in because they shouldn't let them in. I'll save a 6.0, you know. I gotta be flipping close to finish this thing. Yeah, three off. Okay. Not the cleanest kills I've ever had. Give this another attempt. more player I gotta deal with like how many more scab players can there be because I, I, I can't get a break with that I hear him lurking Pretty sure I hear one outside too. There is. There's seriously another one. I 
He's dead. So boss is in that building right there in the corner. Did he kill him? He freaking did kill him. Just the snipers, it's fine. There's so many people here. Oh no, I don't think he killed him. find this stuff wait you know what hold on hold on, hold on. I'm doing this wrong armor's destroyed all right transfer just this one this, oh shoot, it's full. I have an idea what we can do. That's... Oh shoot. know if he killed the boss or not set this to seven four five Me the heck out of this map. so accurate with this. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a three by three. Kind of crap loot, actually. Hmm. 
Actually, no, I can keep this in there. Drop that. We're almost out of here. How many boss of his, or how many of his do I need to kill? Oh, I need to kill way more than that. Whatever. We'll we'll come back and do that part. See whatever we can take with us, I guess. Because we're pretty close to the extract anyway. Pro kill, pro kill. Did I put the press no, I can't put the press badge in there. I thought I could. That can go in there though. Anything else I want to take with me before I go? I know I'm kind of being greedy on this one, but that's fine. Let's do that. Five, like this. Just making sure, yes, crash site is it. Pull the heel up before we get out of here. Well, the good thing is, at least now we um, got Kaban, and now we got Peacekeep mission finished up too. Now we just got to come back and kill four more of his guards. Which seems difficult, but it's not. Actually, I'm gonna pop this. I really don't feel like walking every five seconds. Here we go. I had to fight out so many freaking player scabs there, not even funny. They just kept coming and coming and coming. At least we'll get some really nice XP out of this this uh this match. It's a really good XP. Right, it's going really slow. Give it a second. We used up 120 rounds of the uh, back of ammo, and then and then four mags. Yikes, man! So much ammo. Don't get me wrong. I had a lot of fun this run. <laughs> this was a fun run. Exhilarating. Very exhilarating for sure. We're just gonna get the full stamina back that we can run all the way across. And then we are good. What's the uh well, the durability actually kinda kinda messed up a little bit. I'm very happy we got another another RD though. Gonna bring that bad boy out and have some fun. I guess if, if you're a PMC and you want to just farm XP late game, just stay by the boss area and they will come to you for sure. I'm fine with the loot. We'll take what we got and get the heck out of here. I'll take it though. Two pro kills. We got his RPK stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad actually. I think I need that key though. That's a uh, forklift key. I'm quite certain I actually sold it and that's uh, one of the cap items. So a little nice little victory there. Although it's probably the worst loot you could have gotten out of Kaban in, in total. Like I'm quite certain you can got, could have got way more. Like way better things like key cards and whatnot. I'm going to guess 1,300 or 13,000, excuse me, 13,000 XP, at least 14,000. Look at that. So we got two sniper. Okay, so, the, so the snipers don't count as bosses. The one on the ground did. We got just a single player kill, but we got a lot of player scabs all the way. They just kept coming and coming and coming waves. 2,300 damage. 60 hit out of 230, which I still think is it's quite a bit. Oh, I messed up though. I don't actually I don't think I missed Kaban. I think he was just eating a lot of the shots. 
But luckily we had enough rounds to finish him up when he started reloading. That reload really saved our life though. Either way, good run. Well, there's nothing to turn in, but we'll just drop off all the loot. I'm very happy though. Three maps done. That's, uh, that's huge for us. Huge for us in that one. We got three of the... Is it six? I think it's three of the six. So we're halfway there. We still got to do shoreline. Still got to do woods. And we got to do... Actually, you know what? Maybe it's just only two. Let me just triple check that actually. Before I start talking out loud, let's actually go take a look at the actual numbers. Oh, it was only two maps. There's only five in total. So we got left is shoreline and we've got woods left. It's not even that, really that good of a reward either, which is just kind of funny, but it is what it is. Although, like I said, we got the boss kill. We got some nice, you know, XP out of this. So this guy got killed by the one that I killed. Right? One of them. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so yeah, overall, I'm happy about that. I'm going to get out of here, though. This was a very stressful run. <laughs> Although, I need to check this real quick. Let's go take a look at... No, no, no. It's down the bottom. I moved everything around. Take a look at this. Oh, I do have the key. Never mind. I couldn't remember if I had the key or not. We have a lot of the items. We're still missing a few, though, that are going to be... I think, in my opinion, I think they're going to be annoying to find. But let's see. By the way, in this bag, this is what we were using to hunt down the Vertex. I still have everything still in it. I'm sure at some point we'll run this kit. But uh, for now, we're not we're not at that point. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get the heck out of here before I continue going on for too long. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Rad Rich series, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode, what you're excited about for the future. Much more to come, ladies and gentlemen. Rough start and a great end, though, I have to say. I'll see you in the next one.